Hello investors, you guys asked for it and you shall receive. So today I'm going to be discussing my top 10 dividend picks. Uh, now these are picks that are going to have uh, either good growth or just have a really good dividend with a safe company. Uh, so most of these are dividend aristocrats or even dividend kings, which is, you know, amazing. That means 50 plus years of uh, dividends. If you guys have been following the channel, then you would know that uh, I made these picks at the beginning of the year as well. And then I did a review of it six months later. So right now I'm going to be picking up 10 new picks for 2019. Now these are long term stock that you would want to hold for years and years and receive some passive income. Most of these are in the, between the 2 and 4% um, dividend you know, range, but some of them are up to 6%. Now let's get into the picks and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, and don't forget to smash that like button for me. Now these stocks are in no order, so there's just going to be a list 1 through 10. So number 1 is going to be ticker symbol O, Realty Income. So Realty Income has a dividend yield of 3.89%, which is an annualized payout of $2.72, and that is paid out monthly, so that means you'll be receiving $0.22 cents each month from this stock, and that means you can uh, reinvest your dividend into you know, more stock of it. It's kind of better than the one where you have to wait three months to get your money, you know, because this one you can automatically reinvest it and get some more of the shares. So Realty Income is a REIT, which means that it's invested in uh, real estate properties. And that also means that REITs also must uh, pay out 90% of their uh, net earnings to the shareholders. The so Realty Income has had a dividend growth for about 20, 23 years. Uh, that is since 1996. And that is almost making it a dividend aristocrat. It needs two more years to get that 25 years. So this is a very, very good one. Uh, there's many other options in the REITs, but I like O a lot. All right, guys, so number two is going to be ticker symbol PEP, that is PepsiCo, so Pepsi. So Pepsi has actually increased their dividend this year by 11 cents, which is great news for uh, Pepsi. Pepsi has a dividend yield of 2.88%, which is an annualized payout of $3.82, which is paid out quarterly, and that pretty much comes out to about 95 cents per quarter. So that means every three months you'll be getting a payout. Pepsi has had a dividend growth for about 46 years, so it is a dividend aristocrat, but it's not yet a dividend king. It needs four more years, so in the next couple years, it will get to that point. All right, guys, so number three is going to be Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. So the reason I picked Verizon is because, so it's going to have some type of 5G coming up, you know, with the whole 5G race going on, who's going to be number one in it. If they have great success with this over their competition, this could really push Verizon even more higher. And Verizon has a dividend yield of 4.21% with an annualized payout of $2.41, which pretty much means that you're getting about $0.60 cents per quarter. It pays out quarterly, so every uh, three months you're going to be receiving $0.60. Cents. Um, you know, Verizon has had dividend growth for about 12 years and since about 2007, so it's, it's, on a good, uh, it's on a good trend so far. All right, guys, so number four is going to be SPHD. SPHD is a high-dividend, low-volatility ETF. This is composed of about 50 um, securities traded on S&P 500, and these are historically, you know, providing high dividend, low volatility, pretty much. SPHD has a dividend yield of 4.36%. Now, this one is a monthly dividend, and the annualized payout is $1.82. So that means that each month you're going to be receiving about 15 cents. So 15 cents each month. That means you can reinvest that you know, money into the stock again quicker, better than the quarterly ones. I, I like the monthly ones a lot better than the quarterly stock. So a lot of people pick ETFs because they're kind of, you know, they're picking the top 50 that are really good. So it's a lot more safer than just picking one stock of your own and kind of, you know, hoping for the best. But this is, you know, the top 50 safest ones and it's a high dividend, low volatility. So that's why that one is a pick for me. So number five is gonna be AT&T. So Microsoft and AT&T just had a huge uh, deal actually, you know, the whole cloud deal. Uh, they just signed a deal worth $2 billion. Now that's a lot of money right there. And also AT&T, you know, it's going to be just like Verizon, pretty much the 5G race. You know, everybody's trying to get that 5G to be the number one in it. So that's another reason why I picked this one. So AT&T has a very, very high dividend of 6.12%. Uh, uh, it has an annualized payout of $2.04 which comes out to be about 51 cents per quarter. This one's a quarterly one, so 
every three months you'll be receiving about 51 cents. AT&T has uh, had dividend growth for about 34 years, so it is a dividend aristocrat, but it, not, it is not a dividend king yet, but if it continues this trend, it soon will be. All right, let's switch it up a bit. So number six is gonna be SO, that's the ticker symbol, Southern Company. So this is a gas and electric uh, utility holding pretty much. Southern Company has a dividend yield of 4.45% at an annualized payout of $2.48. So this comes to be about 62 cents per quarter. It is a, a quarterly one. So you know every three months you'll be receiving 62 cents. Um, it has had dividend growth for about 17 years. So it's on a good uh, trend right now to get to those dividend aristocrats, but this is a beautiful pick. I mean, gas and electrical, everybody's gonna need that. So number seven is gonna be J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson. And they are a dividend king, actually. You know, uh, they've been here a long time. So this is actually a pretty good pick right now because it's had a small dip because of the whole lawsuit going on right now. But I don't think that's gonna, you know, really affect it in the long term if you're a long term investor. So Johnson and Johnson has a dividend yield of two point eight eight percent at an annualized payout of three dollars and eighty cents. And this pays out a quarterly um, you know, dividend of ninety five cents, so ninety five cents per quarter. And like I said, they're a dividend king. They've been paying, you know, they've had dividend growth for fifty six years. That now that's a long time. Fifty six years. They're not just an aristocrat, they're actually a dividend king. That that is amazing. So number eight is going to be JPM, JP Morgan Chase Bank. Now this is a great financial sector pick. Um, I could have picked other ones like Bank of America, but I decided to change it up a little bit because everybody says Bank of America and I decided to pick JP Morgan Chase. So they have a dividend yield of 2.81% and that is an annualized payout of $3.20. They pay a quarterly dividend, so you're going to be receiving about 80 cents each quarter. So every three months you're going to receive 80 cents. Um, they have not been paying out their dividend, you know, they haven't had their dividend growth for a long time is what I mean. Um, it's only been, you know, growing for about eight years, but that's still pretty decent, you know, if it continues to grow higher and higher. All right, guys, so number nine, a lot of you guys are going to know this one, actually. So the ticker symbol is PFE, which is Pfizer. So this is a pharmaceutical company. I, I like this company a lot, actually, because... You know, it has some decent dividend and, and the growth is not the, the, the worst, I guess you could say. So it has a dividend yield of 3.36%, which pays out a quarterly dividend. And it comes out to be about 36 cents per quarter. So every three months, you'll be receiving about 36 cents from uh, the company. And this one has had a dividend growth for about nine years. So not too long, but it's, you know, it's, it's slowly getting up there. So uh, Pfizer is not that bad. I would actually uh, pick this one in my portfolio and I actually have it. So number 10, guys. I definitely have to pick this one in here. It's a uh, ticker symbol KO Coca Cola. So I love this stock. This is one of my favorite stocks, actually, and I can definitely see why Warren Buffett loves this one as well. So Coca Cola is actually a different dividend aristocrat as well as a dividend king. It has had, um, you know, dividend growth for the past 56 years. Uh, the dividend yield is 3.07% at an annualized payout of $1.60. It pays out a quarterly dividend and you get about 40 cents you know, per quarter. Now, of course, uh, you know, Coca-Cola has been expanding into so many different types of drinks. It has so many products. So I believe in Coca-Cola in the long term for sure. And that's why this one is, is a very safe pick for me. And this is something I'm gonna hold in my portfolio pretty much forever because I just believe Coca-Cola is never gonna die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, top 10 list of my top dividend picks. Uh, I actually own every single one of these stocks in one of my portfolios, either my M1 portfolio or Robinhood portfolio, which brings me to that. If, I, if any of you guys are not investing in the stocks and you would like to, I will leave a link in the description of M1 Finance and Robinhood sign up link. If you sign up with uh, M1 Finance, you get $10 when you um, you know fund your account and I get $10 and then Robinhood, you get a free stock and I get a free stock worth up to about like $200 or $300. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this type of videos, uh, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me, turn on that notification bell, press that like button for me to help the channel grow and I know you guys are supporting me. Leave a comment below telling me what your favorite dividend stock is. And also if you guys want, I can make another top, uh, another 10 part two so i can make a part two for you guys if you want if you guys want some more dividends so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time